Okay, for my regular subscribers, this is nothing new. I'm just remaking an old video from my first year. Uh, this is the simple stuff. I wanted to make it clear for our beginners, basically, what I did a few years ago when this stuff first came out. Um, is I got the material safety data sheet. Um, basically, it's like an OSHA form that you have to keep around, and it uh, tells you everything that's in the product. <clears throat> so, what I want to do is find out what's in it, and then find common day over, you know, over-the-counter products that you can use to make it yourself. So we have water, aloe, leaf juice, propylene glycol, sodium stearate, and then the stearate, polysorbate, carbomer, thiolthalamine, and quantum 15 stuff. Those are thickeners. Okay, so we all know about the speed stick. Uh, the speed stick originally, uh, original application, you put it directly on the skin, not using this, of course, you were to scrape it off on the stick, you apply it liberally all over the skin, turn your applicator over, scrape as much off of it as possible, because that stuff is so thick and oily that it would dissolve your stencil if you had too much on there, making the stencil unusable again and it often was a bit of a mess. So what we, the whole point to the stencil stuff is to thin out the speed stick, which if you look and you want to use the speed stick deodorant, you can use speed stick, you can use Old Spice, you can use the dollar store brand, just make sure it's like the blue or green type product, did deodorant, not the white antiperspirant. So if you look on the main ingredients, we have propylene glycol, water, sodium stearate, sodium chloride, sterile alcohol, okay? So right there, you already see the sodium stearates in there, and the protium glycol, and uh, the alcohol, and the stearate, the thickener. Okay, so right there is half your ingredients in this. The Propylene glycol uh, is, this is straight chemical version that I just happen to use for other applications. Okay, that's all it is. It's an oily, kind of like baby oil, but what propylene glycol is, is a penetrating agent. That will actually pull the ink from your stencil into your skin. That's why it lasts so long. That's why everybody uses this forever. So propylene glycol is the main ingredient in here. Next is sodium stearate, which is the other ingredient. Sodium stearate is a salt soap. <clears throat> so basically it uses a salt soap as a thickener mixed with propylene glycol, which is the penetrating agent. Now, what you want to do in order to make this stuff is you take this one sti full, a large stick. Say this is a two ounce large stick. You melt it down in a bowl, clean bowl, everything sterile, of course. Melt that down, and then you're going to mix. Uh, you need some alcohol. You can use rubbing alcohol or the hand sanitizer. What you want to do is you want to use a tablespoon of hand sanitizer because it's like 60% versus, you know, if you're using 70 to 90% rubbing alcohol. So if you're using hand sanitizer, you're going to mix one tablespoon or roughly a half ounce. If you're using this, you're going to mix, oh, say a teaspoon or a cap full. You're going to mix that directly into the melted down speed stick because what that's going to do is keep it from reconstituting and hardening right away and glopping up. So you mix that up with the alcohol, then the aloe. Now, if you look at the ingredients on the back of the aloe gel, you have alcohol, you have aloe gel, you have propylene glycol, you have the thalalamine, the carbomer. Again, you'll always see the thalalamine, the carbomer, all that crap is because it has to be mixed together. It has a certain pH in order to create this gel to begin with. So those are all just extra things that just, again, everything that's in this stencil shit is in here. Everything that's in the stencil shit is in here. So these two things together are what make it. You're mixing a little extra alcohol to the speed stick to keep it liquid state 
until you mix it with this so that it stays liquid. Now you're going to mix one and a half ounces of this uh, to say one and a half to two ounces of the aloe gel to the two ounces of speed stick with the alcohol. Once you do that it'll stay a liquid state. Um, the other version I've heard people talk about, I just saw this the other day because I haven't watched the video in like forever. First time I watched it, the second uh, Nico video. He talks about taking the speed stick, melting it down with equal parts green soap. To me that's a little redundant because green soap, first of all, like I said, this already has the sodium stearate in it which is a salt based soap. So it's kind of redundant to add soap to soap. The other thing is green soap already has probably 20 some percent alcohol in it which is why I tell people not to use it on your tattoos because it's very irritating and it also wears off your stencil but that's another video. So it's kind of redundant. It's already got things that you're already using. Um, basically if, that's, if that works for you, I'm sure it works great for him, so it'll work great for you. But the point is, uh, the whole point of the video was to show you what's in the actual stencil stuff and to show you where to get it and how to mix it. So basically, equal parts, the aloe gel and the speed stick has everything in it. Just melt this down, cut it with the alcohol, and you're done. It's that simple. Application-wise, you apply it and you apply it thinly so that it, what it does is because it's thinned out now it's going to dry a lot quicker soak in once it soaks into the skin to a point where you can barely feel it that's when you want to apply it um, over time you'll you'll get a touch for exactly when that point is but that's how simple it is right there that stencil stuff right there